Boom Coyle, he travels to America and gets a victory over a, not only American, but a guy from Massachusetts. So of course fighting in Boston is very, very local. 2-1, Ryan Kalowski. Now, Ryan Kalowski, he went into this fight with 29 wins and 3 losses. And um, of course, Tommy Cole just went in there. Um, was he the favourite for this fight? I don't even know, to be honest with you. But of course, with uh, Tommy Cole the last time out against uh, Sean Dodd, um, a lot of you guys will remember that fight. He stopped Sean Dodd in six rounds, and that was for the Commonwealth lightweight title. So this one was a case of, first of all, get me in America. Second of all, let's get this fight out of the way, and I want a world title shot. And as his trainer, Jamie Moore, by the way, he is doing a phenomenal job with his stable of fighters. Martin Murray, Carl Frampton, Rocky Fielding, you name it. He's doing so, so well, Jamie Moore. And of course, this is a new lease of life for, Tom, for Tommy Cole as well. I mean, it wasn't so long ago that uh, Tommy Cole was thinking about potentially even knocking it on the head. But he's got a whole new lease of life about him now. And who knows, maybe a world title shot. Is he world level? We don't know yet. We don't know, but potentially, because Jamie Moore is getting him working very, very hard. Now, of course, this fight against Kalowski, it was a 10-rounder, and Tommy Coyle wins this one by unanimous decision, by quite a wide unanimous decision, to be fair. And a lot of that was down to the fact that uh, he dropped Kalowski in round number seven, um, which was a bit of a delayed knockdown, to be fair. He tagged uh, Kalowski to the body and to the head. Then Tommy Coyle kind of like stepped backwards. And then as Kalowski kind of like took a step or two towards Coyle, Tommy Cole almost like ran at him, threw a punch, missed, but Kalowski went down. And he looked like he was almost on the verge of quitting. And who knows, maybe Tommy Cole could have got him out there had he stepped his foot upon the gas. And of course he ran number eight in that as well. But Kalowski come out and ran number eight and you could probably argue that he won that round. And in my opinion, I don't think Tommy Cole started off the best. Tommy Cole fights the way that Tommy Cole does. Um, head first, okay? Um, in other words, he doesn't mind getting hit. And he quite likes a fight. He likes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe at times. But this wasn't one of those kind of fights exactly what he'd done. But in the first couple of rounds, I thought that he was getting tagged quite a bit. And I was, and I was fearing the worst for him, to be honest with you. But ultimately, he found his range and he just got comfortable. He was smiling and he looked happy in that fight. And what's surprising, though, is that these two guys have struck up some kind of real good friendship. And you know what? And that's really nice to see. But, of course, maybe this will be Tommy Cole's last fight on Matchroom after dropping the pants of Eddie Hearn. <laughs> well, Tommy Cole is a known prankster. He's done it to many of his gym members and that, of course, and Frank Smith and, of course, with Eddie Hearn as well. So he kind of had to win this one to pretty much save his job, I would imagine, pulling his pants down in public. Um, but you know what? I'm real, real happy for Tommy Coyle, um, the lad from Hull. I would l love to have seen him in with uh, Ahara Davis, and maybe, hopefully, it's not too late to see that fight at some point, but who knows? But you know what? There's so many options there at lightweight. It's a very, very good division. I mean, maybe, I mean, mm, I don't know. Maybe him against Lewis Ritson. That, that wouldn't be such a bad idea, would it? Maybe. But ultimately, if Tommy Coyle wants a world title shot, I think he deserves it, to be fair. Why not? So anyway, congratulations to Tommy Cole. He gets a unanimous decision win away from home over there in America in Boston, Massachusetts. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.